Hello, my loves. Welcome to your collective love reading. For those of you who do not know what a collective reading is, it's basically for a certain group of people. Um, your zodiac sign doesn't really matter unless, of course, you hear it uh, in the reading. And zodiac signs really, um, you shouldn't give too much credit to that anyway because we have so many signs in our chart, okay? <clears throat> Guys, um, I'm proud to announce my baby sister has opened her own channel, Temperance of Tarot. Um, she has taken no guidance from me, so she's doing it all on her own. The link is in the description box below if you would like to show her some love and support and subscribe, okay? So let's get started, guys. These readings are timeless, so whenever you come across it, um, that's when you're guided to watch it. If it doesn't resonate in the description box below, I do have my entire playlist of timeless collective readings for you to check out, and you can see if a title resonates with you, okay? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have today from my collective, please, Spirit? What clarity and guidance, what love messages can we bring to the collective today, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides, what love messages, what advice does the collective need to hear today, please? Holy Spirit. The Knight of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. So we have someone here that um, may be non-committal. This is somebody who's very flirtatious. This is someone who loves attention from the opposite sex. This is somebody who... Um, just wants to be free to do whatever they want to do to pursue whoever they want to pursue and then we have the queen of wands leo sag aries energy so we could be dealing with a fire sign but we could also be dealing with somebody um we could also be dealing very strongly with a third party situation here the queen of wands is uh known to be a representation of the third party of the other woman or the other man so we may have someone here um that is talking to somebody else with the Sun card here, Leo energy, um, I feel like we may be coming into this uh, knowledge. We may be finding out about this. We may be seeing the truth for what it is. Either we're actually physically finding out the truth or we're feeling it inside of us. Like we can feel the truth. We're gaining awakening and enlightenment over this. With the Seven of Wands, this could be because your person is pushing you away. They're not showing you as much attention anymore. They're not answering you back as quickly, blocking your calls. With the Nine of Swords, you're feeling this in your gut. You're feeling that anxiety. You're feeling that pain. Um, this happens at night a lot. So maybe your person, you know, isn't stopping by as much, isn't texting good night, isn't picking up the phone during certain hours. Uh, but you're feeling it. This is this is definitely um, a feeling of knowing. Maybe you may have dreams. Your intuition, your inner gut knows that something is wrong here. And with the world card, we have something here coming to a complete close. We have maybe a karmic cycle being learned here. Six of Pentacles. So this is a representation of, it could be a representation of giving that maybe you have given a lot to this person, perhaps maybe even financially. Um, it could be a representation that things are way out of whack. One person is definitely more in love than the other. We've got the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So this is somebody here that's coming to an awakening and realizing the King of Cups is a person, it's an energy, male or female doesn't matter here, guys, but it's an energy of somebody who has a lot of love, a lot of love. The only problem is, is that the King of Cups is the master of his emotions. So he doesn't express that love. He doesn't put his heart on his sleeve, okay? So due to this imbalance, either... This King of Wands here comes across as the King of Cups where he's not expressing emotion anymore. Things are out of whack because he's not saying I love you, no more good morning text, no more good night text. Or, you know, if it's vice versa, you know, the, the woman that you're with isn't it just isn't showing the same love, care, kindness, and affection. And you're knowing that there's imbalance here. Um, or guys, you yourselves may be coming to this place of realizing that, you know, this person may not share the same feelings as you and now you're locking it up. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, the King of Swords. Um, now you're starting to realize that it's time to think with your mind, not your heart. Now you're realizing that it's time for you to be smart about this um, and maybe pull back a little bit. We've got the Judgment card here, Sagittarian energy. So this is an energy of making a firm and final decision here. We have the Ten of Pentacles, okay? So I'm feeling here that 
you're someone here is very abundant okay either financially i'm feeling that maybe you were giving this person money or um Yeah, I feel like there's, the, I mean, somebody here is very abundant. I mean, financially, I'm, I'm seeing that for quite a few people here. With the Three of Swords, I feel like you're coming to this realization that this person is only with you because of your abundance. Now, guys, it could be financially, it could be with love, it could be with care, kindness, you know, you could be, you could even just be really, really hot or really beautiful. You know, this person is with you for a certain reason. And I feel with temperance here, Sagittarian energy, you're starting to come to this conclusion that this person is using you, that this is a very one-sided connection. This person maybe has another option. They may be in a whole nother relationship possibly because we've got them going towards this queen of wands here. Um, so I feel like this heartache, this knowing, you know, the three of swords can be a representation of a third party. It can. Um, but I feel more than anything, it's the, the realizing a painful truth here. Because with temperance, this is your feelings dying down. This is you becoming more patient, thinking twice before you give to this connection. This is your, um, your passion and your love for this person dying off, I'm feeling. Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So here we have messages coming in two of pentacles yeah i feel like you may this person may tell you that they're juggling with another person um or this could just be downloads that you're receiving you're just your inner knowing knowing that you're being juggled and with the two of swords that you need to cut this person out but you just don't know what to do as of yet emperor aries taurus energy i feel like you're trying to take control of the situation um maybe what i'm getting for some of you is that you know on the inside that there's another person but you don't have proof so the problem here is is that you can't like take control and really stand up and like go to this person and be like i know you're with someone else you see what i'm saying you can't do that because <clears throat> i feel for many of you you don't have the actual physical proof Four of Pentacles. Yeah, so you have to hold it all in. You have to hold this knowledge in and you don't know whether to stay. You don't know whether to go because, you know, somewhere in your mind here with the Four of Swords, you're sitting around on your couch thinking, okay, well, maybe what if it's just fear? What if this isn't my intuition? What if it's not real? What if this is all in my head, right? Because you you don't have the actual proof here. We have the Six of Swords, okay? So you're thinking about, you know, I feel like this is a represent representation of two different things. You're thinking of what if things change and go back to normal and this person really loves me with the Ace of Cups, okay? What if, what if I stay and stick it out and see if things change and go back to normal? Or should I just leave now because I know that this is bad, that this is toxic, I know there's someone else, and should I just go and move on to new love? So we've got the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you are saying, okay, maybe I'll just wait. Maybe I'll take a breather. Maybe I'll take it easy and let's see where this goes. Maybe this person will eventually commit to me, okay? Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. So guys, we've got the King to the Queen here of Swords. So this connection has definitely gone cold, okay? This this connection has definitely gone cold, or you're very defensive towards each other. The Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. And the Nine of Wands. It's, it's getting harder and harder to express love to each other is what I'm seeing here. Yeah, if for whoever I'm reading for, you guys are in this energy where one person truly feels that the other person is um, seeing somebody else, okay? There's a lot of anxiety here. There's a lot of pain. There's a lot of fear. There's nightmares. There's a lot of inner knowing, okay? And I feel like somebody here is trying to grasp at wanting to take control of the situation, but they just don't know. They don't know where this relationship is going. They don't know if it's heading towards commitment. They don't know if they should leave, come, go, cut this person out. They don't know. And I feel like there is a lot of love here. Yes, the Ace of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Somebody here doesn't want to rob themselves an opportunity if this person does love them, but at the same time, you know, they don't want to be robbed of a new love, like, a, you know, a new opportunity if they go off and take that second chance, you know? Know what I'm saying? So I feel here that, you know, 
for many of you, this person can be cheating because we've got a rekindling, an ace of cups, seven of swords. We've got the fool under the deck with the two of cups and the six of cups. Okay. I feel like this person may be talking to an ex right now. Yeah. Eight of cup, uh, eight of wands and the ace of wands. I feel like this person might be talking to an ex guys. I'm not going to lie. I feel like the past has come to revisit this person and this is why they're pulling away from you. Some of you may know this. Some of you may not know this. Okay. Um, but you know, it's here. They're revisiting something from the past and they, they feel love for this person. Okay. They have love for this person. So let's see what we have here. Spirit, tell me about this Knight of Wands, please. The Strength card, okay? So this person is unable to tame their lust. Tame, like This is a person that has a lot of trouble holding back and doing the right thing. Like This is a person that doesn't have... Uh, they're not the best when it comes down to integrity, okay? Tell me about this Queen of Wands, the High Priestess, Cancer, Piscean Energy. Um, this could represent a secret that this person is talking to this Queen of Wands or High Priestess in secret. This could be an indication that your intuition is telling you that there's someone else in the picture. Um, the High Priestess can also be, you know, if we're looking at it on a man's standpoint, a woman that he is infatuated with but cannot have, okay? It's also known to be a mistress card. Tell me about the sun. We've got the six of swords. Um, so I feel like someone is seeing the truth here, okay? Someone here is seeing the truth here. They're realizing that they're about to get left or that they should leave the situation. Tell me about the seven of wands. The death card, scorpionic energy. Yeah, it, th there's a change in behavior here. That seven of wands is kind of like being pushed away. So I feel like someone here is not receiving the same attention. There's been a major, major shift in attention and, and you know, how this person comes towards you. With the nine of wands, yeah, see, eight of, of wands here. The way this person talks to you, the way they come towards you, there's been a major change. And that's why we have the nine of swords here. That's why there's stress, there's anxiety, there's nightmares, there's trouble trouble sleeping because this awareness here yeah see there's an awareness here that with the nine of wands and the knight of cups there this person is not showing love showing romance the way they want once did tell me about this world card please we have the moon cancer piscean energy so i feel that with the world card and the moon here um you, you, somebody here has an inner knowing that this connection is over, but they don't know why and they don't know how, like, you know what I'm saying? It's just their inner knowing. It's just, it's just intuition. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, I feel like, I feel like some of you want to say something, <coughs> but you're afraid of passing judgment and it being wrong. And then the whole relationship ends for no reason. You know what I'm saying? Um, so it's a fear. We have a fear here of not knowing if it's your intuition speaking or if you're just coming from a place of fear. Do you understand what I'm saying? With the Six of Pentacles here, we have the Knight of Wands. Yeah, so you see everything is out of balance because somebody here, <coughs> excuse me, with this Knight of Wands is uh, not being faithful. You know what I'm saying? We have a connection here, a beautiful connection, but see that snake? We have somebody tempting the situation. We have somebody coming in tempting this person. We have the King of Cups with the world again. Yeah. The way this person came towards you emotionally has ended. And, you know, the world card signifies that it's not going to snap back to the way it was. Okay. Um, or that there's going to be some type of shift, some type of ending here. Um, or maybe this person has to end things with the Queen of Wands and you don't know that. Like maybe this person is going in and gaining closure with this person from the past. Tell me about this King of Swords. The King of Wands, Leo Sag Aries Energy. This is somebody that was once very passionate, very sexy, very romantic, very um, attentive, now turning into the King of Swords, now turning, you know, with a very, they're not opening their heart space. Tell me about this judgment card. We have the Hanged Man, Piscean Energy. You see, you guys are waiting to make a final decision, okay? Because you want success and victory with this person. You want this person to be your Ten of Pentacles here. You you were expecting this person, um, this connection to last. You know, tell me about this Ten of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, you know, you, you saw this as like your jackpot. You saw this as the one. You saw this person as the person you were supposed to spend your life with. Three of Swords and the Four of Wands. It breaks your heart. 
it literally breaks your heart to ruin that you know, see with the tower under the deck so you're going to keep trying to work on this co connection even though with the five of swords and the five of cups you're very hurt and you're tempted to give up on this there's been a major shift here there's been a major change in this connection and more than anything i'm feeling that there's no proof there's literally no proof and it's all you you feel it inside of you you see this person's changed behavior and you know you don't want to just walk out because if you're wrong then you could have a beautiful future with this person. Tell me about temperance. Yeah, see, you're trying to calm down here. Chariot, Cancerian energy. You want to just go, you, you want to just leave and be like, you know what, this is not for me. I'm going to go do what's best for me. But with temperance here, you're trying to calm down. You, you know, like relax, relax. You don't know for sure yet. You don't have proof yet. You don't know for sure yet, right? So you're just kind of staying. Tell me about this, two of, uh, this page of cups the five of wands. I feel like you're afraid to mention anything because you're afraid of fighting. You're afraid of drama. You're afraid of strife. Um, yeah, I feel like you're looking, you know, you're looking to marry this person. You're looking to have children with this person. You're looking to be with this person and you don't want to ruin it. Tell me about the two of pentacles, the queen of wands. Yeah, I feel like you're afraid to say something. Either you're afraid to say something or someone here is going to come in with communication telling you that there is another person. Tell me about the two of swords. We've got the five of cups. Yeah, I feel like you feel guilty. You feel bad because like it's like you want to say something but you're not saying something and you don't you just don't really know what to do. Whoever does whoever I'm reading for is confused. Tell me about this emperor. Yeah. Eight of Swords, guys, you have it trapped in your head. Like, you're trying to take control of your thoughts. You're trying to take control of the situation, but you cannot get it out of your head that your person is seeing someone else. Because he's that he or she is very withdrawn. They're pushing away from this connection. They are not acting the way they did in the beginning. They're not acting the way they did in the beginning. So you're just getting really worried here. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. We've got the Ace of Cups. So I feel like you're holding back you're holding back from moving on, okay? Um, I also feel like you're you're keeping it to yourself that you're worried that this person has moved on to new love. Tell me about the Four of Swords, the Six of Cups. Okay, so this is, you know, this is you having a feeling that he went back to an ex or that she went back to an ex. With the Four of Swords, this is you resting, thinking, contemplating, you know what I'm saying? You're just tired. You're tired. Um, and you're, you're worried about this person from the past. Tell me more about the Six of Cups. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So here's what's worrying me now. We've got the Queen of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles, and we've got the Queen of Swords to the King of Swords. So we've got one connection here that's stable and another connection here that's dying off. Tell me about the Six of Swords, the Four of Cups. Okay, so I feel like, you know, you're not leaving this person. This person's not leaving you. You guys just aren't really paying attention to each other. Tell me about the King of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups. Yeah, see, so someone here is emotionally disconnecting, and I feel like that's your person. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's your person. I feel like, you know, you don't want to leave because you don't want to miss out on an opportunity. Tell me about this Queen of Swords. We've got the Two of Swords. Yeah, so we've got one person here being cut out, okay? And we've got another relationship that's starting. Tell me about this Four of Cups. Nine of Swords. Yeah, I feel like somebody here is fearing that this is going to happen. Tell me about the, the Knight of Cups, the Star, Aquarius Energy. I feel like you're hoping that this person will come in and do the right thing by you. I, I feel like you're really hoping and praying. This is your fear. Your fear is that this person's going to come in and tell you, I don't love you anymore. I don't want you anymore. I'm cutting you out of the picture. Tell me about this Nine of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you're tired. You're tired. You're sick and tired of this connection being separated. You're sick and tired of not knowing what's going on. You're sick and tired of not knowing if this is going to move forward or not. You're sick and tired of having heartache here. And I feel like you may go towards this person asking them for the truth. Yeah, I feel like you may actually, like, you know, 
come towards this person and ask them for the truth because it's funny how we have the six of cups here and look at this you see i mean we have somebody here we've got new love or a rekindling of love we've got the seven of swords somebody here decided to be sneaky and take a risk or take a leap of faith and then we have who did they take a, a, a leap of faith with uh you know a, a relationship from their past and we have you know a lot of sexy time here, a lot of commu communication, a lot of passion. So it's like there's love and passion here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So guys, let's take it into an extended. Let's see if this relationship is going to end, if they're going back to, uh, you know, their past, or if this relationship is going to survive, and if you guys are going to make it, okay? All right, guys, the link for the extended will be in the description box below, and it will also be in the comment section. I love you guys. Bye.